this hunt, we're back in Alaska, America's last frontier, just north of where I shot a trophy Alaska moose. But this time, we're looking for something way higher on my list, a trophy caribou bull. What's going on everybody? We're out here again on another beautiful Alaska morning. As you can see by the landscape, this is not gonna be the area we're gonna be hunting, but we're gonna to travel over to a more marshy swampland kind of area later today. And hopefully we can get our eyes on some big caribou and hopefully be able to take one out with our current rifle that we're gonna be using. It's a 30-30 caliber old Western cowboy gun. Kind of take us back to the gold rush here in Alaska. It's got pretty good iron sights and we can only shoot out to 100 meters, so we're gonna have to get nice and close to these caribou. And hopefully, we'll be able to get one down that's a pretty decent caribou. So, I'll see you guys when we get to the destination. All right, so we are here at our next location, and it's more of a swampy, marshy area. And my buddy told me that he's seen a lot of caribou passing through this area of the swamps right now and he thinks that I have a pretty good shot at finding a caribou if I come right through this area. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're right there, oh my gosh. That's so ironic. It's looking like females from what I'm seeing right now. It don't seem like there's a bull with them. Try and take some cool pictures of these guys. You can see them just coming out of the woodlands. Through here to get some feed. There's grass up to my knees out here, so there'll be plenty of good food for them here. And just look at them. They're such a majestic species. Staple species in this ecosystem here. So we're to the point where we can sort of scan these hills. I'm trying to see if there's any caribou. Oh. I think that's just the same herd with the little bull. Yeah, there he is. Look at him crying us. He definitely knows we're here. That's, that's cool. But we're gonna try and see if there's anything on these hills. And if there's nothing out here, then we're gonna try in a different spot tomorrow. We've got way more area to the west of us. And hopefully we can just find ourselves a big bull tomorrow because tomorrow's the last day of our hunt. It's not looking like there's much and we're running out of time for the day. So we're gonna pack up and head somewhere else. All right, so we're in a new spot today and we're just way east of where we were yesterday but it's still kind of the same terrain and there's a little more treed in area of more 
deciduous forest area. So we're going to head out in this direction. And hopefully we can find our caribou bull today. I'm really hope we can find a big one. Alright, so we've kind of hit like an open area. And we're going to like scan with our binos. And hopefully we can locate some caribou. I've, I've heard that there's also great caribou hunting in this exact location that we're in, so I'm gonna try and see if we can find one here. So, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? I think that's a moose. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good bull moose. That's definitely a shooter bull if we're moose hunting, but we've already filled our moose tag down in the copper lands. So, that guy's just some cool sightseeing for us. I might try and take some cool pictures of this guy. He's pretty cool. Oh, that's another moose right there. And there's a caribou bull. Yeah, that's gotta be a bull. He's too big to be a cow. I didn't get that good of a look at him, but I don't, I don't think he was that big. There's a, there's a cow moose out there too. This area is just way more action packed than that last area we were in, even though that last area had pretty good action. Yeah, there's that caribou bull. He's definitely not that big, but it is the last day of the hunt, so we're gonna try and scoot that way, and maybe if we'll get a shot, we'll take it on that guy. Or maybe there's a bigger bull out there with him. Yeah, we're really not that far from the other, that other bull, so that just shows how action-packed this area is. But I think the plan is to scoot towards that way, and hopefully we can make a move on that caribou, or if bump some other caribou in the process of getting over there, and find a bigger bull than that. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, that's a big bull. That's way bigger than the other ones. He's, he's a little bit of a ways out, but he's kind of under that hill. But I think if we scoot to the left and head around, that we should be able to get a good shot on him. That guy's pretty dead. Let's get our rangefinder and let's see how far away he is. Is he 
it's about 120. I'm gonna try and sneak in uh, just just a little bit closer, like 115. And then I think we'll be set. I think I could take that shot. This is going to be the best shot before he goes up to the hill. Let's take it. Oh my gosh. There's no way. Oh, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. That is, that was my dream hunt. We just completed my dream hunt. I can't believe that. We're going to give him a minute to go down, and then we'll go and track him. I can't believe it. All right, so we've given this caribou bull about half hour to go down. So now we're looking for his blood splatter. Let's see where. I thought we shot him right about here. I don't see much blood. Oh, there's some tracks. There's some, so it was a little further back than I thought. Oh, here it is. There's the blood. Oh, we got him good. Yeah, we definitely smoked him good. Yeah, absolutely drill him. Let's go find this guy. Holy crap. All right, so we've been trailing this guy for quite a bit now, and he should be down here any second. He didn't have the thickest blood trail because the 30-30, it ain't the most drop-down power gun for a caribou, but... It's the gun I wanted to use, so I thought I'd use it. And he should be down just somewhere up ahead. There's a little more blood. It's starting to get like less and less, so I I know he's coming down quick. He should be down somewhere in this meadow. Oh, right there. There he is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and there's a little bowl. We bumped up another bull. And there's some more caribou. How cool. How cool is that? Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. That is... That is a dream come true right there, guys. That is a dream come true. To have hunted caribou in Alaska. That was my dream hunt. Look at that guy. Look how amazing this guy looks. Oh my gosh. What a crazy looking bull. I can't believe it. Let's get him skinned up. The scorecard says he scored a whopping 303.39 with a weight of 176 kilograms or 388 pounds. This caribou ranks number 27 all time in shot in this area of Alaska and number one shot with the 3030 caliber of rifle. Well, we've got them all bagged up now as some geese fly overhead and that's going to be it for this episode of Realistic Hunts. I really hope you guys enjoy these because I really enjoy making these and yeah, them caribou over there have just not cared that I totally just skinned up one of their buddies and we're now hauling it off for our trophy lodge. But anyway, yeah, I've really enjoyed making these, so I really hope you guys enjoy them. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and comment if you want to see more of these. There'll be less of a wait in between episodes, I promise, guys. But that's going to be it for this one. Peace!